This is problem 9-2. The 2 microfarad capacitor is fully charged by closing the S1 switch and opening the S2 switch. The first part of the question asks you to solve for the charge on each plate of the capacitor here. So we can use the equation C is equal to Q over V. So Q is equal to C times V. The capacitor is a 2 microfarad one and the potential is equal to the 2000 volt power supply. So we simply plug in the numbers. And the charge on each plate should be equal to 4 times 10 to the negative third coulombs. In part 2, they ask you for the electrical energy stored within the capacitor. We can use the equation potential energy within the capacitor, U is equal to one half C V squared. Um, we plug in the same number in um, at part one. So U is equal to one half two times ten to negative six times two thousand square, which is equal to four joules of energy. Oops. Okay, so in part B S1 opens while S2 closes. So the circuit is no longer hooked on to the bed to the power supply. So over here is a simple simple flight drawing of the new circuit without the power supply. Part B asked to find the initial current in the resistor. The instant S2 is closed. So to find the current we use phi is equal to IR. Now, initially, while the instant that S2 and S1 switch, um, the voltage across the two microfarad capacitor is equal to 2000 volt. So we have our phi now, and we also have our resistance, which is equal to 1 mega ohms. So we can calculate for the I initial. So I is equal to V over R, which is also equal to 2000 over 1 times 10 to the 6, which is equal to about 0 0.002 amps. Okay, so for part C, equilibrium is reached after a long period of time. So what that means is that the two capacitors have the same potential across. So delta V2 is equal to delta V6. Now we use the same C equal to Q over V equation. We can set up a proportion. Q2 over C2 is equal to Q6 over C6. We cross multiply them and we get Q2 times C6 is equal to Q6 times C2 and we can plug in the capacitor capacitance for this capacitor so Q2 times 6 times 10 to the negative 6 is equal to Q6 times 2 times 10 to the negative 6 okay so the tricky thing is that um, we from part A we learned that before S2 S2 was open there was um, four times ten to the negative third charge on the one of these plates. So what that means is that after when these two capacitor with equilibrium, these two capa these two plates would add up to four times ten to the negative negative third coulombs. So we can say that Q6 is equal to 4 times 10 to the negative 6 minus Q2. Because these two add up, um, no, um, Q1, Q2 and Q6 add up should equal to 4 times 10 to the negative 6. So now we can plug in everything to solve for Q2 and Q6. So Q2 times 6. 10 to the negative 6 is equal to 
4 times 10 to the negative 6 minus Q2 times 2 times 10 to the negative 6. So after plugging everything in, we can solve for Q2 and Q6. So Q2 is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative third coulombs. And Q6 is equal to 3 times 10 to the negative third coulombs. So yeah, these two add up would equal to 4 times 10 to the negative third coulombs. Now, for part D, they ask you to solve for the electric electrical energy stored in the two capacitor at equilibrium. So we use the equation U is equal to one half Q over C, uh, I thought, I'm sorry, one half Q squared over C this time, because we don't have V this time. So we plug in Q and C for all of them. So one half Q2 squared over C2 squared plus one half Q6 squared over C6. So plugging the numbers in. And which is equal to one joules of energy. And the energy is less than for less than part A. It's because um when when this capacitor is charging this capacitor, energy is dissipated through the one uh one mega ohms resistor. So energy is lost as heat most likely.